Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this website walkthrough. We at Harvey Performance are very excited to introduce the new HelicalTool.com website to you. Um, this is your first look at it, and so I want to give a little walkthrough on some of the new features and functionality that you're going to see on the website. Number one, the first thing you'll see when you get here is that there is a login button. I've already logged in. So we are encouraging people to create user accounts. That way we can save your shipping address, your login information, your user information, as well as your preferred distributor. And you can also manage your wish lists. Now, wish lists are a big part of the new site functionality. By clicking on my lists in the top right, you can see that I have already added various wish lists to my account. What these wish lists allow you to do is to put together a list of tools that you are interested in and determine the quantities you need, check stock levels, look at the total cost, list price, as well as all the tool details. You can also download resources like speeds and feeds, sim files, or open the tool in Machining Advisor Pro. There are multiple ways to manage these lists. You can create a new list and have different lists for machines. So for example, I have a list here for machine one, machine two, and my general wish list. And so this is a great way to manage your tooling needs. The other great new feature about the lists is that you're going to be able to send these lists to distributors. As long as your distributor participates in the program, our wish list send program, you're going to be able to click send list and send this list of tools to the distributor. They will then follow up with you within one business day to confirm your order and confirm that this is the list of tools that you would like to purchase, and it's as easy as that. So it's a great way to request tools from your distributor in a very easy and organized fashion. You can also send this list to different recipients, such as a purchasing manager, your shop floor manager, one of your employees who's running a specific job. You can build out as many lists as you'd like and then simply email them to somebody by putting in an email address and sending that list directly to them. Now, you're probably asking, how do I add items to a list? And I'd like to show you that now by heading to our newly designed product tables. So by going to the products menu first, you can see that we've redesigned this a little bit, made it easier to navigate. You're still going to browse by either tool type, material, or product name, but you also have the ability to click through our feature tool, check out new tools, view the full product catalog, and also drop down each of these materials to select by operation. It makes it a little bit easier than going through multiple menus. This is all in one place right in front of you. Now, if I go to slotting for steels, for example, you'll see there is a page with all of the tools that we recommend for slotting for steels. Now, I'm going to click on the three flute corner radius HSV3 for this example, and this gives you a look at what the new product tables look like. We've added operational icons so you know exactly what this tool should be used for, and we've also added different resources. You'll be able to jump right to build the tool, uh, custom tool, check out customer reviews view cam libraries, sim files, machining advisor pro, speeds and feeds, and the product table. Now looking at the product table, you can see that these have been redesigned as well, and we have added a new advanced search feature. So if you're on this page and you're only interested in say the 3 8 inch cutter diameter tools, you can go to the cutter diameter box, type in 3 8 and the table will shrink down to only show you the 3 8 inch diameter tools. This is great for larger tables, especially if you know exactly what you're looking for. You can search by any of the different functions, cutter diameter, shank diameter, radius, length of cut. You can also sort by price, small to large, large to small, and you can do the same with any of these other uh, options on the table headers themselves. Now to add a tool to a list, you're going to want to click this add to list icon on the right side. If I want to add tool 23011, I click add to list. I can select which list I'd like to add it to. So in this case, I'll add it to machine two. Choose your coding, in this case, A plus coding, and then click add to list. That tool will now appear in your list for machine two. You'll also notice as you scroll down the table that the table headers now carry down with you. This is great if you're on a longer table and you're way down here at the bottom and you're not sure which you know, dimension you're looking at. Now you know corner radius, shank diameter, this carries down with you, which is great. You're also going to be able to access different resources, check out some blog posts, and also add a review. 
We encourage everyone to leave reviews down here. Let us know about all your machining successes with the different tools that we offer. Uh, it'll be great to hear from you guys and get any feedback we can. If you are interested in an individual SKU, this works the same way as it did before. You'll want to click on the SKU in the product table. That will take you to the tool details page. We've also redesigned these to show primary dimensions, your quantity, your list price, the customer review rating. You'll also be able to add to your list right here, find a distributor. But some of the new cool features here are in resources. One of them is being able to open this tool directly into Machining Advisor Pro. So if you'd like to find advanced speeds and feeds for tool 23011, click Open in Machining Advisor Pro, and that will open your Machining Advisor Pro application with that tool's information pre-populated. You can see 23011 popped right in here, and now I just need to go and tell my material, toolpath, holder, and I'll get recommendations from MAP. You'll also be able to download standard speeds and feeds, DXF files, but the other cool thing is you can also customize and modify this specific tool. By clicking Customize This Tool, tool number 23011 will pull over into our build a tool the dimensions that you cannot modify are locked, and the ones that you can modify will be able to be modified right through here. You can tell us different things like your chip breakers, if you want a shank modification, tell us about your application, how many you want. It pulls in your contact information. You can select your preferred distributor who you'd like to order through, and you can also now attach files like PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs, DXFs, or DWGs, which is great if you'd like to show us really the part that you're working with or different tool prints that you've drawn up, what you're looking for exactly in a custom tool. The Build a Tool page also allows you to create a completely custom end mill or chamfer mill from scratch. So you can go to Build a Tool, you'll have different options on what you'd like to choose. In this case, I'll choose corner radius, end mill, and you now have an image and text fields to uh, operate with. If I want a half inch length of cut, I can type that right on the image. It will populate down in the text field. And then same stuff here, application, quantity, contact info, distributor. Same as you saw on the modification of a standard tool, you can do a complete custom as well. Another great new feature is our check stock. We have improved this to allow for up to 50 tools to be searched for in one check stock. You can see I've already added a few here. You simply need to type in a tool number. In this case, I will type in 00030. I hit enter. That updates my tool, gives me the tool details here, tells me quantity list pricing, and I can also get substitutes if this tool is ever out of stock for some reason. I can get the same exact tool with three flutes, a longer length of cut, Z plus coded. And this also allows you to add multiple tools to your list. So if you know you need these three tools for a job, select those three tools, go to add to list, pick the list you want to add it to, tell us the quantity, and simply click add to list. Those tools will now appear in your my lists under the list that you selected. Our new find a distributor portal is also brand new and redesigned. So you're going to be able to click find a distributor, select your state. In this case, I'll go to Massachusetts click search and you're going to get a list of all your Massachusetts distributors. Some of the new features you'll see here are a shop online button. If the distributor has an e-commerce website where you can purchase helical tools online, you can click shop online to be brought right to their website where you can check out and purchase tools. And you'll also be able to set your preferred distributor for different things like build a tool and send a list right through this uh, find a distributor page simply by clicking this icon in the top right saying make my distributor and you can select whichever distributor is your preferred distributor who you'd like to send lists to there also will be a shop online uh, section at the bottom of every state page if you'd like to just jump to those distributors who do have e-commerce solutions you can also click by state to jump around i just clicked texas and that gave me all of the distributors in texas so either search by the drop down or click a state or province and you're all set and ready to go Last thing here is we've also added the ability to quickly jump to a SKU in the search bar. And we've also added a more advanced search feature. So if I type in 00015 and hit enter, that is going to jump me right to the tool details page. So no more needing to go to a product table, find that SKU where it's highlighted and then click on that to get to tool details. This brings you directly to the SKU you want. And if I type in something like three flutes, I can see that there's a few different SKUs, some product family pages, as well as some resources like speeds and feeds. If I click see more results, now you're in an advanced search page 
where you can search by profile, operation, material. Say you'd like to find three flute tools for aluminum, we can select aluminum. You want the ball nose tools, and you want a tool that can do slotting. Here are your two options. Clicking on either of these will now bring you to that product table where you can make a selection, add to your list, and find the tool that you need. If you need a more advanced search bar, you can click our Find a Tool, which is now embedded directly on HeliclTool.com. Clicking Find a Tool will bring you to our Find a Tool uh, interface. If you click on end mill square, now you can see all the different square end mills. And then from there, you can really start to narrow down your search by flutes, overall length, overall reach, length of cut, all different dimensions, coding, and really find the tool that exactly meets your needs. So that's it. That's the new helicaltool.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our customer service or technical support teams. They'd be happy to help you walk through any of the processes on this website. And we're really excited to show this off to everybody. So hopefully you enjoy it. Definitely let us know if you have any feedback. We're looking forward to hopefully getting you all a much better end user experience. We appreciate you watching it. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the new site and now go play around with it and have some fun.